All right, so you've got a web page, you've got some JavaScript, and you decide that you want to update the content. You want to add something new to the page. You want to put some new content into your HTML, actually create some new tags. That's what we're going to cover in this video. So we're going to look at the methods create element, create text node, append child, remove child, and the inner HTML and text content properties. So we're using our same web page from before. We've got the movies JavaScript file and the DOM JavaScript file here. Uh, the movies, if you remember, was just an array, a bunch of movie names. All right, so we're creating a new variable called main. We're going to assign that the result from query selector dot main. So this is the class main right here. This is going to be the main element. This whole piece of HTML is what's going to be assigned to main. Inside that, let's start by updating the h2. Let's update that title. So we need to get a reference to the title. Now I can do document.querySelector or I can target it a little bit better. I can actually start with main and call query selector on that and say, right, I want to get the h2 element that's inside of main. So just a little bit of a shortcut for me. Makes things run a little bit more efficiently. With that, I want to update that title so we can say h2.textContent and change it to loading movies instead of loading scripts. Save it, take a look, rerun our page. There it is, loading movies. Okay, so that works. Text content changes the text that's inside of that element. So the text is actually a child node of the h2. Text content is a shorthand way of getting to this node and updating the value inside of it. All right, our next thing that we want to do, I want to put some content inside this paragraph tag, but I'm going to write and now a list of movies, but I want to bold the word movies. So I'm going to actually use the HTML strong tag to enhance that piece of HTML. So we'll do the same thing we did before with the query selector. I'm going to find my paragraph by doing main.querySelector and find p. That will find the very first paragraph inside of main. That will be this one. And then I'm going to use the inner HTML property. This is a shortcut that allows me to put text as well as a bit of HTML inside that element. So I will say, and now a list of movies. There we go. That's my new piece of HTML. There we go. And now a list of movies. And you can see that the movies element has been bolded by the strong tag. So we've added text as well as a little bit of HTML. Great. Now, that list of movies. Let's get back to that. I want to create a series of list item tags inside of a UL and I want to place it inside of main. Main is going to be the parent element and we're going to create a child for main which will be a UL tag and we want to insert it right here right after the paragraph that's where the UL is going to go and then inside the UL we're going to create a series of list items one for each one of the movie titles. So let's get started here with our UL Create element is the method that we're going to use. This will actually create an HTML element node for us. And UL is going to be the container for that piece of HTML. Now, at this point, we haven't said that this UL exists anywhere on the page. We're not going to be able to see it on the page until we call the method append child. So main is the parent, append child. UL. That is going to actually put the UL into my page right here. When you call a pen child, it's always the last child. So if I come over here, I refresh, I'm not going to see it because there's no content inside. But if we come in here, there it is. Looking at the elements, there is the UL that we created, which wasn't in the original HTML. Great. Now, that list of movies. So movies is the variable, and I'm going to call the for each method. It will, if you remember, take a function as its 
one argument inside the function for each will provide us with three values the item the index and the array I don't care about the index and the array I'm just gonna put in a variable for the item that will be each of the values in my array so with our for each loop set up for each one of the movies I'm going to create a list item so we'll call create element li that will create the list item then I need to create the text that's going to go inside of each one of these and that will be my create text node this will be the string from the array the item right here that's coming from the array movies so I've created a list item and I've created some text that's going to go inside the list item we'll do the same thing that we did here li append child remember that child nodes inside of elements can be text nodes or element nodes so here we're putting the text node inside of the list item list item is still not on the page because we haven't appended it all we did was create it so let's now once we've got this part done now I'm gonna put li inside of ul so ul append child li if I jump back to my web page and refresh there we go now we have created brand new content in our web page using JavaScript there's a ul with a series of list items and each one of these list items was a string that came out of our array and that's it that's create element create text node append child inner HTML and text content remove child works the same way as append if you want to get rid of something you can call remove child you just need to know who the parent is and what the child is that you're gonna remove let's say that UL I wanted to strip out the whole thing the UL and everything that's inside of it main dot remove child UL I'm gonna be stripping out the entire UL from main so it's here I refresh the page boom gone and you can see over here there's no UL there's no list items it's all gone and that's it that's how you manipulate content in a web page now there are lots of other methods that we'll get to at a later time in another video but with this if you understand how this works you're well on your way to being able to manipulate any web page